Hey, how's it going folks? Welcome back to another episode of RX Angler. Today, I have a baitcast reel review for you guys. It's not your typical Shimano reel review that you see me do in the past. Today, we're venturing off to a new manufacturer and today we're going to be reviewing the new Luz Custom Light Speed Spool SLP, which debuted at ICAST of 2019, but I finally got my hands on it. And this is, this reel right here is brand new for 2020. And what's so significant about this reel is the size. This is the smallest and lightest reel that Luz offers in their Baycast model. And basically I'm gonna go over if it's worth it to you to buy because you know, some of these reels that I do, you know, they're not on the cheap end. Actually, I'll just tell you, it's MSRP $279, 280 bucks. So with typical reel review fashion that you always see on my channel, we're gonna talk about the specs. We're gonna talk about how it applies to the type of fishing I like to do. And uh, then I'm gonna show you some examples, some real world examples of me catching some big fish on this reel. And perhaps maybe this will give you more information on whether it's worth it, worth buying or not to you guys. And the, ultimately in the long run, that's up to you guys. You guys make that decision, but I'm just gonna give you the facts. So without further ado, let's start with the specs. Lou's lightest bait cast reel that they offer it weighs at 4.9 ounces, 4.9 ounces. So typically your bait cast reel that you find for inshore use is gonna weigh around, I would say around six ounces is probably an average, six ounces and up. So when you find something this light, this small, that has 20 pounds of drag, you're looking at a, a pretty much a game changer in the inshore fishing industry. So a lot of you guys, let's, let's back up a little bit. So basically, let's talk about the type of fishing I like to do. I'm a kayak fisherman here on the upper Texas coast. I target redfish, flounder, and trout in the marsh where it gets really dirty. And the redfish actually wreak havoc in that shallow water. And I fish very shallow, like maybe up to three feet of water. It's not really deep at all. I've come to really, really enjoy ultra light and light action rods. Um, I've been using my old 18 ultra light action rod with this reel right here and it's been an absolute pleasure because the ultralight old 18 suppressor rod only weighs 3.4 ounces and then you couple this with 4.9 ounces you're looking at a rod and reel setup under 10 ounces and then when you do hook up with a fish it's a lot of fun because you're using ultralight stuff you're pretty much using crappie gear the only company that i know that will compete with lose with this type of model model is going to be shimano which is the all the bearing, which I also have. It's pretty much in line of the same specs as in size and weight. The Shimano all the bearing has been out a few years. And what makes this reel a special reel besides the weight and the size is all the features that you get. For example, you get 10 plus one ball bearings, 20 pounds of drag, uh, C45 carbon side plates uh, with drain ports right here. Here's a drain, I don't know if you can see that, but right here with a drain port right there. The carbon fiber uh, side plates make this a lightweight, kind of in line with Shimano does with a CI4 Plus. 30 millimeter spool, 10 plus one ball bearings, stainless steel, uh, so therefore it is rated for saltwater use. Carbon fiber handle right here, the braking system with different settings that you know that you desire that that's going to be best for you when you're casting ultralight lures. I am throwing ultralight lures only with this reel. And it's been a big help, especially in the winter time when winter fishing gets a little tougher. On the inshore side here on the upper Texas coast when you have to micro size your lure for them to bite. And this has been a pleasure to fish with. Uh, it casts really, really well uh, considering I'm throwing really ultra light lures. All right, now that I talked about all the positives, let's talk about the negatives. First off is the price, $279. To me, it's not that bad of a price, but to a lot of you guys that like to not spend so much money on tackle, I understand it's a lot of money. I think in my honest opinion, it could be priced maybe around 250 bucks. I think is a better deal instead of $280, but that's my opinion alone. The next thing that I do not like about this loose, new loose custom light SLP is the gap that you see right here between the carbon fiber handle and the star drag lever. The third thing I don't like about this custom light SLP from Luz is the line management. And you guys are probably like, what the heck are you talking about? Well, 
it's hard to see because I'm using such thin braided line, but when I'm out in the water, how loose lays down the line on the spool when you're reeling it in, it's, it, it, it's, it, it doesn't, gosh, how can I say it? It doesn't, it doesn't lie down perfectly straight. No matter how hard I tried on the water using this for almost two months, I can't get the line to line up straight and then you always have gaps. I know you really can't see it, but if you look right here, there's a gap um, right there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a gap. It just shows that the line management just doesn't line up straight and properly. I don't know, I, it's hard to explain. And the last thing that I do not like about this loose custom light SLP is how to open the side plate. This is just my opinion. A lot of you guys might disagree or probably will disagree. I just don't like the lever on the side, how you have to pull it out and then you have to, you know, twist it up. I think there should be something easier where it's just a quick lever. Fumbling with things on your kayak, you have limited space and I can see some people having an issue trying to maybe take out a bird's nest where they have to pop the side plate open and they accidentally drop their rod and reel in the water because they're fumbling with so many things trying to open this part up. In my opinion, I think Luz could have done a better job in trying to get your side plate open with one hand. Like 13 Fishing is a good example. They actually you know, with their beetle beetle arm wing uh, side plate opening mechanism system is brilliant where you can just pop it open and it's just bloop and it comes right open like a beetle wing, kind of like the Tesla doors on the Model X. Let me show you some real world examples of me catching some big fish with this micro reel right here. There we go. Nice. Oh, that's a slot. There we go. That's a slot. I think. The way he's pulling. He might be. He might be at the lower end. All right, let's get the net ready here. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I knew there's got to be redfish here. <laughs> oh yes. Woo! What a grind, man. Seriously. He is 24 inches on the dot. There we go. That's a flounder. Oh wow, he's a puller. But I am using ultralight stuff, so. Uh, might be a redfish actually. Yeah, it's a red. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, it's a slot red too. On the ultralight, on the loose. Nice. <laughs> beautiful, dude, beautiful. Just make sure. Yeah, 20, 20 and 3, 20, well, no, 21 inches. That tail's on that 21. Yeah, beautiful fish. Oh, there we go, there we go. That's a red fish, a smaller one. Yeah, a smaller red. <laughs> I know I saw some kind of activity. Nice little small red fish. Starting off on the day. Not bad. On the little bugs, flat, flats bug here. I appreciate it, my friend. At least tell me that you are going to bite this. Thanks, dude. Oh, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. What is this? Flounder, flounder, flounder. Seems like it. It's got to be a flounder. Always pulling. Yes. <laughs> I'll take him though. <laughs> oh, right at that apex right there. Caught him on the, uh, the white colored bugs. Oh, there we go. That's a bite. That's a bite. Oh, he is dragging. He is dragging. Yeah, it's a redfish. Oh, it's a good red. I will take it. I just hope he doesn't break my line. I'm using like five pound braid. <laughs> hey there. What's happening? You doing all right? Come on in. That's a big fish, folks. He might be over 23 with a lot of sores on him. So we are not going to keep this guy. Oh, that's a nice fish. 26 and a quarter inch. Slot red. He is too big for my tasting. There you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this real review. Uh, as always, leave a comment. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And once again, in my honest opinion, I think this is an awesome reel. I really, really like the direction that Luz is going with, especially with their smaller reel like this right here. Who knows what else they might bring out in the future, but this comes perfectly in line with the type of fishing I like to do on the Texas Upper Coast. Ultralight lures, ultralight tackle, catching big redfish and this perfectly fits the bill. So that's gonna be it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.